For Park now, John Daly still in charge of Hearts. Would it be for the last time, though? Motherwell looking to build on their victory over Ross County last weekend. Trevor Carson and Bob McHugh return from suspension. Elliot Freer and Ryan Bowman also recalled four changes to the Motherwell side that defeated Ross County. Hearts make two changes to the side that drew at Ibrox 0-0. Colt Stockton makes his first start. Rafa Greslak returns, Gonsalves and Brandon onto the bench. Corner it, dealt with by Lafferty. And he'll pick it up again. Hearts on the charge. Options left and right. Called Stockton. Stockton with Randall in support. Decides to go himself. Takes a deflection. And Hearts will have the corner. Four substitute appearances for Hearts until today. Cole Stockton driving on, looking for his first Hearts goal. Keep right. Bowman will chase. Suter is with him. Bowman does well. Ball deep. Smith turned it away and then goes in with a block. There's a shake for handball. John Beaton is there. Elliot Freer is left disappointed. Teasing ball in by Bowman. Not well dealt with by Smith. The ball rattling the fullback. Bowman. Moat. Smith stands off on ball. Played back to it. It's a great touch by Bowman. Jack Hamilton with the save. Hearts not clearing. Only at three are trying to drift in down that left side. For Moat and Bowman. A little touch of a header to set up the shot. Better. Walker, Stockton, tidy from Hearts. Here's Kyle Lafferty, away from McHugh. He's pulling the trigger. And it was worth the effort. Trevor Carson beaten Kyle Lafferty on the score sheet for the fifth time this season and he comes straight to the heart space to celebrate Walker with a head flick on stopped it back to Lafferty the edge of the centre circle away from McHugh Carson perhaps caught flat footed but he drilled it into the corner Freer into the middle Bolt did well back onto Freer, Cadden's calling for it so two is Tate wide. A little overcooked. Tate gathers. Deep ball out back across the face. Bowman! Hearts had five defenders inside the six yard box, but are undone by Ryan Bowman. Lee Moult headed it back across, and the diving header makes it 1 1. Well, he's top scorer for four different sides in the last six years, Ryan Bowman. Bowman again, and Moult, Freer always an out ball on the left hand side, Better touches it away, Walker won't take too long, beautiful pass inside, and what a finish from Louis Moult, Richard Tate did the hard work to win the ball back, but this is exquisite from Louis Moult, player that he had well in the last two seasons, Stating a case for a third award already. That unstoppable. Motherwell only managed a single goal in three games against Hearts last season. They found the net twice. Hearts looking for an equaliser. Walker driving through. Good save. Trevor Carson making the stop. Well, this is what Hearts need from Jamie Walker. Gets the shot away, it's a little dink effort. Who's heading top corner? Tate again. Hallowell Bell. Freer's made a great little run. Into the middle it goes. Ball with a header. It looked like a third. The referee says no. Christoph Berra was there. Gary Hillen is the assistant on the far side. Hard to tell, but Berra looked to be well over the line when he clears it. Muller will have a case for 3-1, but the scoreline remains 2-1. Cadden sends it deep, in again with a header, Bowman won't count, flags up. Denied a second goal, but the flag was up early. Bowman straying offside, 
and Hennigan could head her back across as well. I, I, I thought we we were better the better team. We earned it. You know, Hearts are a good side. John's done well with them. But um, you know, we were, were competitive, and I thought we outbattled them at times. Um, and we could have probably used the ball a little bit better in the first half. I've been totally honest. But second half, you know, I thought we did really well and, and probably deserved the result. The two goals come from from cross balls, which we haven't dealt with, and it's disappointing in that sense because you know we've done the work on that and we've the players were aware of that's how they play and it's um, you know as I said they're very good at what they do and uh, we haven't dealt with that and on the day and it's it's cost us today. Great win for Motherwell, Louis Malt, the man, what a strike as well. But there was more than just the goal, Stephen. Yeah, back-to-back -back home wins for Motherwell. They'll be really pleased, but Louis Moat stands out for me in this Motherwell side. 18 goals last year, 18 goals the season before. He's an all-round striker. He scores all sorts of different types of goals. His movement is fantastic. Um, here you see him coming and linking the play. And when the ball gets switched out to the right-hand side here, he doesn't just stay out wide in the wing. He wants to get back into the box. And it's a, super a superbly timed run to the back post. Great ball in. But here he is arriving and knocks it back across the face of goal with an intelligent header. Um, the, the Motherwell's first goal and the second one's just individual brilliance. He doesn't have a lot of back left of time when this ball eventually comes to him to shoot, but he manages to manipulate his body in such a way that he can open up and curl it into the top corner, and that's absolutely <coughs> superb. If you're on the back foot and get that, yeah. uh, you know, up and over Jack Hamilton and goals is... Yeah, it wasn't sitting nicely for him, but no. <coughs> it just shows you the quality he has. Strike. The big question <coughs> is, can Motherwell hang on to him? Well, I mean, uh, by all accounts, th th they don't actually uh, keep a whole load of the transfer. I think, you know, it gets split up amongst different people. So I'm not sure if it's in their interest to, to, to sell them on because it's going to be very difficult for them at this stage as well to, to try and replace him. They're keep him. They're not replacing him. Mm. Yeah, he's been a star performer. Um, so Kyle Lafferty giving the high five to John Daly. <coughs> yeah. Does that mean John Daly will get the job? What do you think, Stephen? Well, yesterday, it shouldn't have been decided on yesterday's game, but it almost felt like it was going to be decided on this one game somehow. You know, going into the game, um, you know, he's taken four points from 12 yeah. in his four games. I haven't thought that they've played particularly attractive football, but I think that's because they're playing away from home. They're trying to be organised. They had two clean sheets before this game. He said they didn't defend particularly well in this game, but um, I'm not sure. But I'm not, I don't think anybody's sure what the future holds. Stephen Presley, Michael's always Paul Hartley. Things. <coughs> Michael, well, yeah, I mean, what do you think? There's been mixed messages. You know, apparently they were looking for an experienced coach and now it looked as if, uh, you know, leading up to well, the weekend... Well, that would have been Billy Davis, but he pulled himself out of the round. It looked as if, you know, leading up to the weekend there that, uh, you know, John Daly was going to be getting it after the result. You don't know. I mean, for me, there's, you know, bigger questions about what is the, the, the vision? Is it to continually bring through young coaches and uh, try and you know, progress their careers? I think with John Daly, yeah, he's had four games away from home, but there's got to be an expectation that the football's got to be a bit better than the attritional football that's been on show in the last uh, start of the season. So, so we think there might be an announcement from Hearts tomorrow about who's going to be taking the head coach's mm -hmm. job. Put your neck on the line, Michael. Who's it going to be? <laughs> Who is it? I, I, genuinely, I'm, I'm flummoxed as to you know who's going to be announced tomorrow. Um, I feel as though if John Daly won this game, that's, yeah, that's the point I was, I was making. Then he would have been in pole position. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but it that, just be but I mean, how terrible game. is that? That you know, one result and all of a sudden you're unsure. Um, I, I wouldn't be surprised if John Daly's announced tomorrow. Okay. Just flipping it back to Motherwell briefly, Stephen. I mean, how pleased should you be with that two wins in a in a row now? I mean, it's suddenly coming together. If they can hold on to Malt, maybe the signs are there. They are back-to-back -back wins, as I said, at home. And they've got another home game coming up next against Kilmarnock, I think. So they'll expect that they can win that one as well. Brilliant. 